So you want to export your substance painter textures into Blender. Let's get it done. Here I have my model. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file, export textures. From here, you're going to make sure this is PBR metal rough. I only have this object, as you can see right here, that I want to export. So make sure that's selected. Then you're going to select the actual size you want to export. In my case, I want to do 4K. So you have your document size, you have your export size. What's going to happen is Substance will actually up-res all your textures to make it whatever you want. So usually I work in, let's say, 2K, and then I'll up-res it then to 4K. So that's what that means. So you always want to export it to the highest resolution that you need. Then you're going to go to Configuration. You're going to select PBR Metal Rough. And so we have base color, roughness, metallic, normal, height, and emissive. In this case, I don't need emissive. And I also don't need height. The other thing is the normal map. It uses normal OpenGL in Blender. So I'm going to drag that onto here. Select RGB channels. So now everything is correct. And then I'm going to go and make sure I have my path where I want to save it. And then hit export. Okay, it's finished. So I can go ahead and open folder. And here are textures. I'm going to copy that extension. Okay, so I'm back here in Blender. I'm in look dev mode. Here's the model of the truck cabin. You're going to go to your principal BSDF, click it, and do Control Shift T. You need Node Wrangler enabled to do Control Shift T to make sure it's enabled. You're going to select all of those materials we just exported, hit principal texture set, and it loaded all of them. So now we have exactly what we had in Substance Painter here. So what that just did is it just built out all of our nodes. We didn't have to manually connect everything. If you did have to do it manually, basically all you need to know is for your base color, it's going to be sRGB, and for everything else, it's going to be non-color data. And for the normal map, you're going to put it into a normal map node and then plug into the normal. So everything's non-color data, with the exception of the base color. And then for mapping, it's just a texture coordinate from UV to a mapping node, and that's going to absolutely all of them. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe, and if you didn't like this video, hit dislike button twice, and I'll see you around.